doctor, with your endocrinologist, preferably, or diabetes doctor, to make sure that you are slowly, gradually cutting down on the carbs or making a major cut on your insulin. Now, every time you make a cut on your insulin or your medications, the response may not be like just like what you foresee, so you may you may have still have to be monitored. Now, with good good thing about sugar and beets, we monitor you guys remotely. So you check your blood sugar, bam, it pops up on my screen. So I know you have a low blood sugar, so I can call you and let you know what's going on. So this kind of close monitoring has to be done for every diabetic patient, not just on keto diet, but I think from being accountable standpoint, I think that's also the greatest way to go. Remote patient monitoring is the key. But again, if you're on an insulin or sulfonylurea agent, make sure you talk to your doctor. Another problem from a metabolism standpoint. Now, it looks very glorious, you lose a bunch of weight on keto diet, right? But the problem is it is so hard to maintain, so you end up losing fat and the muscle, as we discussed, and then suddenly there's a party, suddenly there's some social events, suddenly uh, there's a family gathering, Christmas kicks in, uh, Easter, Ramadan, whatever you're celebrating, and suddenly all these carbohydrates available and everybody's eating, you're like, uh... I cannot eat this, I cannot eat that, they're, they're going to look like you're a little weird guy. So, um, or they may just actually say, oh, you, you, you're such a great willpower and so forth. But regardless of the case, you're going to miss the enjoyment and that can happen occasionally. Now, once you get back into that sneaky carb situation, your body will taste it again and you're going to have cravings again. And the thing is, if you lose... If you lose your willpower and if you get back into carbs, you are going to accumulate so much fat back into your body and that fat will go around your uh, organs. Now, sometimes we call insulin resistant patients skinny fats. So some people are actually very skinny, especially smokers, for example. Uh, they look skinny from a distance, but if you, you know, when they do autopsy studies on these patients, for example, for one or the other reason, um, they see that there's a lot of fat around the liver, around the other organs, around the intestines. Body accumulates the fat around your organs, not under your skin. And that is uh, the biggest problem for insulin resistance. So you don't have to look fat from a distance, but you can still be fat inside. And that is a huge problem for insulin resistance. So guys, if you're losing weight and you don't think you're going to stick with keto, you're going to go back to carbs, don't even start the keto diet because you're going to lose muscle and then later you're going to gain all the fat around your organs, which is going to be worse. Now, the biggest problem is the keto diet can lead to dehydration. Now, another patient group with diabetes, 